hello ladies how are you doing this is makeup by Rima so we're gonna start this look by hiding all the imperfections on my face and I'm using MAC orange concealer uh, in order for me to do that basically what I am trying to do is I'm trying to hide um, any imperfections on my face any dark spots any discolorations um, and I have discolorations around my mouth and underneath my eyes next we're going to use a foundation and the one that I chose is Bobbi Brown uh, which is a foundation stick I'm going to apply it all over my face I'm using the color walnut warm warm walnut 7.5 and with a round brush I'm just going to blend everything together making it look like a seamless skin I love using Bobbi Brown and uh, you might think that this color is a little bit dark but with the highlighting everything will fall into places now I'm going to use a concealer from NARS I'm actually using two different colors a darker one and a lighter one and uh, I'm using the darker one first uh, once again to conceal underneath my eyes and that color is Amand then I'm going to follow up with the lighter color which is caramel in order for me to highlight and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes um, in my cupid bow on the bridge of my nose my chin and on my forehead um, and uh, that's just going to bring all my features out that is the purpose of highlighting with a brush I'm just going to blend everything together making sure that it blends perfectly next we're going to contour and the product that I decided to use for that is Fenty Beauty Match Stick I got it for $25 from Sephora the color is Espresso it's a very dark color perfect for doing your contouring and I'm using a contour brush to blend both concealers together because we don't want no lines of demarcation I'm doing the same thing on the other side and I'm starting from the corner of my ear all the way down to the corner of my mouth next we're going to set the concealer with Laura Mercier setting powder and uh, the reason for me doing that is because we don't want the concealer to crease especially underneath your eyes so I'm applying it underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose on top of my lips but I'm not applying it on my forehead because I don't want it to be too bright so I'm basically applying two, two to three layers that's all it needs and you can just apply it a little at a time I'm also applying it on my eyes because I don't want my eyeshadow to crease on me next I'm going to use bronze script on the crease on my crease um, as my transition color I love this color it's like a reddish copperish color perfect for a transition I'm using a blending brush to do that next I'm using a blue color from the magic palette from Juvia place you guys this palette is the bomb.com I love this palette the colors are so so pigmented and I think it's worth the price also so I'm just applying it in the corners of my eyes um, leaving the middle open because I'm going to apply a different color later on So after we're done with the blue, we're just going to use the same blending brush that I used earlier with brown script 
um, to blend to fuse both colors together because we don't have we don't want to have any lines of demarcations on the eye too we just want the colors to move from one to the other with no lines of demarcation so just do some back and forth with the blending brush and if you see if you still see a demarcation just apply um, the brown um, again on the crease blending it furthermore next we're just going to use a concealer from NARS the same one that we use as a matter of fact um, in the middle of the eyes and uh, the reason for me doing this is because I want the next color that I'm going to use um, to pop and this beautiful green that I'm using from the magic palette um, goes in the middle of my eyes and I'm applying it with my finger because I feel that applying it applying a pigmented color with your finger brings out the color more now I'm going to highlight my brow bone with a nudish color from the palette and um, I like to up uh, to use a matte eyeshadow first on my brow bone then use a highlighter um, to highlight it and the one that I'm using is from Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby um, I'm just applying it on my brow bone but I'm just applying a little bit because we don't want it to be too obvious next I'm just using MAC Boost Black and it is a black eyeliner that I really love I've been using it for the past five to six years I believe but it's just so dark and the applicator is so hard um, that it allows you to draw very well and to have a grip of, um, of it so I'm going with a cat eye um, extending my inner corner the inner corner of my eyes and uh, this applicator is perfect for that that's the reason why I decided to go with it today I'm doing the same on the other eye and if you guys want to see a video on how I draw my eyeliner please comment below I'll be more than happy to make one now I'm using a blue pencil that I got from Sephora um, for six dollars and the reason why I decided to use blue is because just uh, to complement the look since I use a blue eyeshadow and the four lashes that I'm going for today are from House of Lashes and you guys house of lashes are very good they have very good lashes you know very affordable and they look very natural this style is called siren if i'm not mistaken but i will put all the um product in the description box down below Now I'm going to set the, the contouring with Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm applying it on my cheeks and um, on my jawline basically just to define my features, my face and uh, around my nose and now I'm just going to finish this look with MAC Skin Mineralized it's a really light powder that I love using been using it for a long time and what I've noticed is that when you use this powder you don't need a spray at the end you don't need you don't need to set your entire face with a spray I'm using a blush unfortunately I do not have the name for this blush it's just a blush that was given to me as a gift but you can pretty much use any blush color um, I'm now using the 
loose powder again on my cheeks just to define them more but you don't have to do this step it's optional and uh, with a mascara I'm just going to apply it on my bottom lashes and now I'm just going to dust away the powder that I used underneath my um, cheeks and highlighting again with Hustler Baby but I don't want to use too much since I have some pimples I don't want my pimples to be too obvious and that's what a highlighter does it just brings out everything um, so with NYX lip liner the color red I'm just going to um, line my lips and then with pure Hollywood like Anastasia Beverly Hills just going to apply it on my lips it's a beautiful lipstick pink nudish color and I just love it here is the finished look and uh, it's very beautiful the colors are very pigmented and I hope you like it if you have any questions please send me an email at makeupbyrimadalas at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you and talk to you later bye